Hello all, today we are going to discuss regarding the circuit design and waveform analysis of a small circuit. To analyze the circuit waveform, so I've just opened the Proteus in my system. Proteus, which is also allows you to simulate the signals. So I'll just go to File, New Project. Select the file and then New Project. So go to Next, Next next and then finish it so once you finish so it will route to this schematic design section so we'll here we have a parts and library we just need some parts to design it design a circuit so we decided to design a circuit which gives 40 volt ac to 12 volt dc and analyze its waveforms so to generate a 40 volt AC we need a sub generator so generator in this left side icon so you have to find the generator <clears throat> so we have a generator mode here if you see if you observe this section so we have a generator mode so just generator mode so this generator mode we click on the generator mode we have a DC signs DC AC signal pulse etc so we just want 40 volt ac i'm just clicking on the sinusoidal ac signals are like sinusoidal so just click on the sinusoidal come inside uh, inside this frame which is given in the spreadsheet so i'll just click on that just zoom in zoom out using the mouse scrolls and then click it here so you get a generator symbol just i, just, I click the generator symbol here I need one more generator because I need a EAC. So one is for positive terminal, another one is for negative terminal. So this is the generator modes which we have got it from this icon. So double click on the first generator. So generator mode. So I'm just going to tell the amplitude. So I need an amplitude of 40 volt, 40 volt AC I need frequency uh, meanwhile i will take it 50 hertz and then click ok so we'll have to check the waveform of this section so what would what will be the waveform so 40 volt ac signals we must get so to get the waveforms i need a uh, oscillator mode instruments mode if you go to the instruments mode so here if you observe this is an instrument mode so in the instrument mode click on the oscilloscope so i'll just click on the oscilloscope inside see here you can see the oscilloscope and click inside so we have a four channel in the oscilloscope so one channel first a channel that is in yellow color waveform i'll just click it and i'll connect the wire to the generator mode the generator mode if you double click on it so we have 40 volts amplitude uh, with the 50 hertz of frequency so we will check check what will be the waveform just click here in the star, top down button in the down side so we have got play button next button pause button and then stop button so we're just going to click on the play button so the new pop-up will open so the new pop-up is showing you the exact waveform so just adjust the waveform in the oscilloscope double click here this is an yellow channel channel a i'm just working on channel a so double click here so this is the waveform which gives you 40 old ac so how to confirm here in the section you have a cursor you see this one this is the cursor option click on this cursor so you will get a cursor mode so in the cursor mode if you go it starts waveform start from a zero volt if you see this is a zero volt waveform if i increase it so it is gradually increasing so the peak point will be 40 volts if you see the peak point so the peak point will be 40 volt ac so likewise it is gradually decrease it come back to zero and then it will go back to the negative side of the waveform so the negative peak is also a minus 40 volts so this is one circle AC so again it will start so it will keep on continue if you see AC is always continuous because it moves on so this is a 40 volt generator which we have from this generator mode so in the next case we will uh, double click on it and we will tell this amplitude as minus 40 volts for the return path so 
so again we will say it is a 50 hertz of frequency click on it so i just connect this signal to channel b and we will check channel b is in blue color if you see the channel b is in the blue, blue color if i click if i run the simulator the blue waveform we have to see the blue waveform is the second one we will arrange the both <coughs> If you see this is the negative side of the signal blue one is the negative side of the signal so it start from zero it'll keep on go to negative 40 volts and again come back to zero and it will go peak 40 volts plus and it will go back to zero and it will really continues in a AC waveform so this is the actual AC which we have the line and the return so this is the AC waveform which we need. This is the positive terminal and that second one is the negative terminal of the AC. So now we are going to connect some diodes and see the waveform behavior. When I connect the diode to the 40 old AC, in front of the 40 old AC, so it will only allow you half parts. If you have, if you have this is your AC, for example if this is our input this is the AC signal which we have seen right now when we connect it to the diode so what happens when we connect it to the diode so the diode only allows you with a positive signal the anode end only allows you the positive signal and the cathode end only allows you the negative signal so the flow is this way so the anode will allow only positive signal from the input so it will block the negative signal so it will only allow you the positive signal so we so will get the signal only positive side See, this gap so if i want to move make it fill the another signal so i have to add one more diode to get the another signal another positive signal so we will add one more diode to the negative side so in the negative side waveforms will be this way so in the negative side input waveforms will start from the negative side and then the second half will be the positive side when i connect it to the anode side of the diode so the first half signal will be clipped off because this is the negative signal and it is connected to anode side positive side of the diode so this is a second half signal it will only allow you the second half signal so this first half signal will be skipped and second half signal you will get it so if you merge both if you merge both so then you will get only positive cycles in the output section so this is the analysis how do we get the only positive cycles from the AC signal so we will connect these two so positive a 40 volt ac is connected to the diode and the negative ac negative terminal of the ac is connected to the diode so when we mix both so you will get waveform only positive half cycles so when we check it with the oscillator click on the instrument mode select the oscilloscope oscilloscope so i will connect in any one channel because this is only one output so in the a channel i should get only positive half cycles if i play so if you see here so you will get only positive half cycles so it was it a little bit since you're getting only positive half cycles the output of the two uh, diode will be only positive half cycles these positive half cycles so we need a complete dc if you see this is the ac signal so we need only these peak points so dc is like a straight line so dc is like a straight line and these waveforms are unwanted for us right now so unwanted signals we have to filter it so to filter it we need to go for the capacitor connect the capacitor so it will ideally remove some unwanted signal from the waveform so in parallel we will connect a capacitor so go to component mode so this is the component mode the second option is immediate second option is the component mode click on the component mode so here we have parts and then library p uh, means parts and l means library click on the parts so we have n number of uh, 
uh, parts list so here in we will select the capacitor so under that we will go for any meter capacitor and click on the active capacitor so with the capacitor which is selected and click inside so i'll get a capacitor click on it and connect this output the diode 1 and diode 2 output to the capacitor and see what will be the behavior so for the capacitor we need to add one ground so i'll go to the place terminal and then say choose ground option so i will keep the ground here for the proper signal flow so this is capacitor one so what will be the value of the capacitor one so how to find out the value of the capacitor one so capacitor value will be c is equals to so find out 1 divided by 2 pi fv so here in this case 2 pi fv so 2 the pi value will be 3.142 And F is a frequency which we have taken 50 Hertz and voltage is input voltage here the input voltage is 40 volts these are the basic inputs we have to multiply it and divide it by 1 1 divided by the answer and then we will see the total value of the capacitor I'll go to the capacitor calculator so 2 pi F so go to 2 multiplies by pi 3.142 multiplies by frequency 50 hertz so I'll say 50 hertz multiplies with input voltage that is 40 volts so this is a 12,568 uh, click on 1 divided by 12,000 this is 7.95 into 10 to the power of minus 5 just I move one point towards the right and so I get 79.5 so that's 79.5 into 10 to the power of minus 6 so the 10 to the power of minus 6 tends to micro so the answer will answer of the capacitance so value of the capacitance will be the so double click here and the value of the capacitance will be 79.5 microfarad so this is microfarad and the working voltage is approximately 40 volts this is the input voltage we mention it and the next one we have to reduce the 40 volts to 12 volts we need a dc of 12 volts so we will reduce it to 12 volts so before that we will check the signal cannot analyze proper signal right now we will connect the entire circuit and we'll arrange it so go to component port so i will go for for 12 volts i will choose 7812 voltage regulator so i will take 7812 fix it 12 volt fix it or oh, 1 amps positive power supply we will choose it here it is 7812 has been chosen so i will click it and connect it to will connect the output the C1 capacitor 1 and ground is connected to the ground the output side for filtering purpose we need one more capacitor I will choose the capacitor to it here so what will be the value of this capacitor just the voltage will change so here the voltage is 12 volts the given voltage input voltage will be 12 volts based on that we will choose it so we'll go to the calculator and calculate it for 12 volts so 2 pi is constant and then 50 hertz frequency is also constant along with the input voltage now reduces to 12 volts so see 12 so if i do 1 by 2 1 by the answer i'll get 2.65 10 to the power of minus 4 here i will move two points towards the right side so it would be 265 microfarad so I'll double click here so i'll go to 265 microfarad is my ideal value and the working voltage will be 12 volts so let's click ok so this is the complete circuit so we will check with the voltage probe so i will select the probe mode so here it is a probe mode if you see 
so this section is the probe mode click on the probe mode so here we have got three options one is voltage current and tape so i need voltage probe voltage to be proud so i'll click in the input side what will be the voltage here and click after the capacitor and then i click after the oh, regulator let's just this one so what will be the voltage here if i run the simulator so we'll just observe the voltage this is the ac it will keep on change and here it is a fix 40 volts and the output said you are getting 12 volt fix and there is no change so we'll analyze the waveform so come here and you can see the output of the two diode will be after capacitor this output is after capacitor so you are getting this value so we will analyze this output with respect to the input voltage so just stop this one i just remove this and connect the input to a channel i will connect the input here and the b channel input i will connect it to the other side so these are the two inputs if you are analyze you will get only positive signals positive and negative ac signal you are getting so from this ac we have to analyze so i'll connect the c channel to the output of c1 so then run it so if you observe cleanly so i'll just tip it to exact so this is the output of that channel Okay, the unwanted waveforms have been removed if you see closely the unwanted waveforms below this section has been removed and you are getting this kind of spikes so this is almost dc but still we have small delay here it is a small delay so we have to reduce these spikes so whatever the spikes we are getting here these are the spikes so we have to reduce these spikes to reduce that spike so we will connect one more capacitor outside and that would be the straight line so after that you just click it here and we will check the output of u1 so output of u1 will be in green color and that would be the straight line so if you see the green color here in the bottom side so that is almost straight line. that is a linear dc according to our analysis so this is from 40 volt ac to output 12 volt dc ac is completely a waveform and dc we are getting the linear output so we will proceed with the eagle cap with this particular circuit so input is around 40 volts or 240 volts and we process it to 12 volts dc 9 volt dc 6 volt dc 5 volt dc in the further classes so we will develop the same circuit with so we will see that in the next class thank you so much